Awesome. <laughs> okay, guys, welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about conversations and how augmented reality can help uh, augment those conversations. Hopefully, today is going to be a very short idea, um, a short video. I know I say that a lot, but um, I'm going to keep this really brief. Uh, and um, I find a lot of people have different reactions when I speak about this one. So I, at this one, really, I want to hear what you guys think. Um, I'll pose you the question now, even before I get into it a little bit. I want to know what you think about AR stepping in as um, kind of like non-biological memory, non-biological intelligence. Um, where you see that, do you see it as something dangerous? Is it something that you're like, want to avoid? Or is it something you're looking forward to? Yeah, we'll leave it there. Because um, there's lots to talk about in that area, um, primarily with what do you consider a smartphone? I'm going to leave the question there. I re um, would love to hear what you guys think about that. But let's get into conversations. So there's kind of two little different ideas over here. There's conversation one, one on one. And then there's like kind of conversations when you like meet a new person. So think of like in a meetup, right? You, got, you come to a place. The idea is you want to meet as many people as possible. Let's think of a networking event. Um, you want to find someone with like minded um, ideas, maybe like minded experience, maybe like minded interests. Um, you want to find those people as quickly as possible and connect them as quickly as possible and hopefully maybe make uh, business connection, network connections, or even, you know, create a company together. Um, and usually once you get into that, you have a conversation. So the second part is helping that conversation along. Um, that's where that comes in. So that's, they're kind of a very similar idea. But think of it this way, right? When we come into, um, let's say we come into a networking event. A lot of us like where that badge, hi, my name is. Uh, and we've got a lot of information in the background, right? Our social media, specifically LinkedIn, but really if you go data mining all the other ones, know so much about our interests. And in the back end, our, those two computers, let's say those, let's call them AIs, let's call them our agents in the back end. If they were to connect with each other, if they were to, um, let's say connect to each other's LinkedIn as we meet each other, there's so much information that they can find out with each other. Imagine if that information could be surfaced and given to us, maybe before meeting. So when I look at someone, I get that information. Maybe I can get their name quickly. Um, I'll wait a second. Uh, maybe we can get their name or maybe we can get a, some pieces of information uh, that will help us out with that conversation. So it might unearth uh, the same, we might be working in the same fields or maybe we know the same people. Um, or maybe we have some obscure interests. Maybe both of us like snowboarding. Like, it can be <clears throat> as obvious as relating to like this event, or as non-obvious as some sort of activity that we both like that we can both bond over uh, and connect with. Um, I did not lock the door over here, so <laughs> there is lots of people coming in right now. So um, I think if there's another person, I'm actually going to go lock it. But uh, I want to finish this up, so hopefully another person doesn't come in. Um, yeah, so you imagine having that conversation. Imagine having that that you could see before you walk up to someone. You could see who they are, maybe uh, connections, uh, the interesting connections, and it could be a bunch of different things. So you can make a beeline. Maybe there's a big room, and we could highlight those people that would be the best uh, for you. Uh, now, obviously, we have the question of like, yes, it's cool if one person has it, but what happens if everybody has it? Does everybody make a beeline for the same people? R really not, because we all have different interests. Um, but the most important, you know, probably some people will rise to the top of like everybody making a beeline to them. But hopefully it, it fosters that communication because some of us, uh, I know myself, I, I like to get past that small talk as soon as possible. Like, I want to know... Um, really that, that, that piece of information that both of us are sitting there going, wow, or, or something that we can both learn. I sometimes even just dive into the controversial things because like, just let's spice this up. Let's get somewhere. Let's, let's actually get into that conversation. Let's learn something. Um, I don't really want to hear about those. I'm not so interested in those, in, the, in that small talk. So I like to get beyond it. Um, and you could see it, let's say in normal conversation, if we go beyond that, imagine if during this conversation, sometimes I mean, have you ever had where you're in middle, you have a conversation and then afterwards, like an hour later, you think of what to, like, what to say? Most of you will have just gone, oh yeah. And usually it's about like a snide remark or like some sort of comeback that you wish you had said in the moment. 
But I'm not necessarily even talking about that. I'm talking about like some piece of information that you're like, oh my God, you know, we could have talked about that or I'd love to have got his opinion on that. Now, yes, with social media, with WhatsApp, you can text them afterwards and share a link. But imagine if in that conversation, that piece of information could maybe pop up. And as I'm speaking, that piece of information goes in and says, hey, maybe you guys would like to speak about that. I've seen in his LinkedIn that he likes this or he's interested in, you know, nanorobots. Maybe, maybe you want to talk about nanobots. Maybe that's some sort of interesting thing that we don't go straight for. Maybe something like this that unearths the actual connections, the interests, will get us beyond like politics and religion, those go-to, maybe the maybe contra very controversial, but those go-to things that most of us um, reach for at points where we don't really have actual like conversation to talk about, uh, as fun as politics and religion are. Um, but... I would love to see some of those things unearthed. I know for myself in conversations, if pieces of tidbits, little, little, little maybe even a story, maybe even an article that I read a, a, you know, a while ago that I would not think to bring up. But because my agent in the back end can go, oh, we checked his LinkedIn and he really likes, let's say, uh, USB-Cs. This is crazy. But like, I wrote an article on that a couple years ago saying how USB is gonna be the last wire we ever need. Um, it's, it's actually looks like it's happening. But like, that's a conversation that I can speak to about for quite a, a little bit of time. It's weird. It's not a conversation that anyone would be like, oh yeah, I like a wire. Um, but there's some, interest, there's some interesting things that I find about it. And if, if, I, if, if my agent is able to find out that this person has been reading articles about that or he has, he's, he's, he's knows someone that's been on the team that, that created it, whatever it is, that's an interesting conversation that, yes, naturally, we may have come to. Um, and you do have that argument of, you know, let just things flow, like let's, let things be natural. But like, I'm sure there's a lot of times that I've met people that I could have probably connected with them a little bit better, uh, a little, you know, we could have gone into more meaningful conversations. We probably could have collaborated on different projects, but we never got to it because naturally that moment just didn't open itself up. We weren't there long enough. We didn't end up finding that thread that connected us to, together. Um, yeah, I just, I, I would love to see how to augment that. And I'm not talking about like a social media. I'm not getting into that kind of thing. So I'm just seeing like, we have lots of information that we've um, put on the internet. We've had a lot of information that we've put on social media. And until we connect, and usually that connection happens at the end. Oh, here's my LinkedIn, like let's connect. And then maybe you read up or an article pops up a, month, a couple months later and you're like, oh my God that could have been something really cool to speak about. Um, imagine if those little pop-ups of like, all those little tidbits that, those, those nodes that we could have had a connection, had we found them. Um, yeah, I think, I think those kind of things could be so interesting to, to, to push forward those conversations. Uh, and listen, maybe you might wanna turn this off and not, not have someone access that. Um, maybe you want it only on for certain events, maybe for networking events, you want people to have access to it. So instead of finding out their LinkedIn, once you connect, maybe you know, we find all those connections in the background and let you know about it during um, the conversation to make that easier. Um, we could also look at something as simple as giving us information uh, or facts that we've forgotten about or, or, or didn't think about bringing up or something we'd normally have to Google and go into a phone and start Googling. And meanwhile, this augmented conversation brings up that piece of information to help jog our memory. Um, I'm gonna cut it short there because it actually hasn't been that short, but I don't wanna hit that nine minute mark. So I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna, I, I wanna hear from you guys from the questions I posed earlier and I will see you guys in the future.